Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your readings for February 2019. I want to wish all of my Aquarians out there a very happy birthday. We are officially in Aquarius season as far as Western astrology is concerned. Uh, I also want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day, maybe, if you're doing anything, if you're celebrating. I hope you have a great one. And if you're not such a fan, then forget I even said that, right? Right? <laughs> so these are general readings, okay? Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and send me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the readings that I offer are listed in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out and read through those. See if you, whichever one you would like and then shoot me an email. If you can't decide, then still email me and we can discuss the situation a little bit and I will help you pick out the best reading to move forward with, yeah? We are using the Golden Universal Tarot for the readings with the Oracle of the uh, Unicorns, hee hee hee, for a little bit of Oracle guidance, yeah? Um, uh, just one thing that I want to mention about the readings. I recommend that people watch the uh, the, the Leo reading and the Capricorn reading. Leo, because we just had that super blood moon eclipse on the 20th of sep uh, September, no, January, excuse me. I don't know why I said September, but um, the 20th of January. And depending on like, say if Leo was a, is, is a big thing in your chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus or whatever, or depending on what house Leo is in for you, you could get some good insight as to what may have happened uh, around or what may be shifting around that full moon that we had, the super blood moon eclipse. The Capricorn video, I also recommend that people watch, uh, re regardless if you have Capricorn in a major placement, as a major placement like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You, with that one, you may also want to look into where Capricorn may be, what house it may be in in your chart. For some reason, there was just a lot of major collective energy that was coming through, at least in the very beginning of that reading. So I recommend that maybe if you're interested, if, there, if that's piqued your interest, if you resonate with that a little bit, to go ahead and watch that reading, yeah? If you are in the New York City metro area, come through and see me every Friday at Om Shanti Bookshop. I am there doing in-person readings from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and check their, uh, check their website out. You can give them a call and schedule a reading in advance with me or any of the other fantastic readers there. We have astrologers, palm readers, tarot and oracle card readers like myself, and we're all really good at what we do. <laughs> yeah. They also have a really excellent crystal selection, a card selection between tarot and oracle cards. They do have a nice book selection, uh, essential oils, incense, sage, palo santo, anything that you might want. I'm pretty sure Om Shanti has it. Yes. And they do ship locally or oh, well, remotely. They do ship their, their, um, uh, uh, they can ship things. <laughs> Go ahead and give them a call. If you like, you can make it a, an order over the phone or you can do it online. Yes. And finally, I am on Instagram and um, Facebook. You can go ahead and follow me there. The links are in the description box below. Okay. So I think that's it. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get to it, guys. Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight into it, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio. So I'm I'm seeing blue for you guys. Blue is the color of communication. It's the color of the throat chakra. Some of you may be going through a bit of a throat chakra activation. Um, I'm also seeing green right underneath that. Um, so this could be as a result of a heart chakra activation that you went through. Um, the biggest thing that I want to say about this is that you really could be dealing with wanting to speak some sort of truth. This could be some truth um, that comes straight from your heart. 
So with this being Valentine's month, um, you could be expressing some love to someone or wanting to express love to someone. Um, for some of you, this could just be finally being a, a, either aware of this feeling in your heart, of this truth within your heart, or finally um, being willing to face it, or maybe just not, maybe not necessarily being willing to, but at the same time, like not being able to hide from it anymore. Um, I just feel like the, the, the strongest thing that's coming through with this for you, Scorpio, is that... And this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and the energies can go either way. So this could be either you, Scorpio, or someone around you, someone connected to you, someone that you've been connecting with, um, could just want to speak some sort of truth towards you. Uh, I heard tell you I love you. So uh, And um, I just looked at my screen as I'm recording here, and the Ten of Cups caught my eye. So... We really could be talking about love, um, a soulmate counterpart situation, something that's very deep. Good Lord, sorry guys, my, my smudge, my sage smudge is just going insane right now, but I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> but yeah, someone could be coming to terms with something. Um, and this, ha this, especially with the uh, 10 of cups that came out, this could be, um, this ha could have to do with a family situation, either your family now or someone that you want to start a family with, okay? One more shuffle for you, Scorpio. And I'm going to cut the deck here. Boop. All right, Scorpio. Overall energy for you, we have the Hermit. Okay, you could be dealing with a Virgo. You could have Virgo in your chart. Um, but uh, this is some really deep soul searching here. Um, you may have been in quite a bit of a Hermit mode lately. Um, but I really do feel like this, what I feel like with this card is that you guys, some of you have really come to some really profound truths in your lives, something that you may have been hiding from for a very long time, um, and that you haven't been willing to face. I'm hearing some of you are not necessarily willing to face it now, but it's just that you, 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 you cannot hide from this anymore. The universe just is not going to allow it. Okay. Um, I apologize if that is something that's, well, I, well. I mean, don't shoot the messenger, you know, so but I apologize if that's something that you're not too happy about, but it is what it is, right? Four of Cups. Um, you've been missing out on some sort of opportunity. Some of you have come to terms with the fact that you really missed an opportunity, opportunity with another person that may have come forward towards you in the past. But the biggest thing that I got with this, especially in terms of falling in alignment with the Hermit here, which is the first card underneath the deck of your overall energy. So this is like the theme of your month. Um, you've been missing out your whole life because there has been some sort of truth that you have not been willing to face. You have not been willing to deal with. The Emperor. We could be talking about the Divine Masculine Energy. You could be dealing with an Aries. And then you have the King of Pentacles. All right? You could be dealing with Taurus. Now... Taurus is the fixed sign of the earth suit and Scorpio, you are the fixed sign of the water suit or the water element, I guess we should say. Instead of suit, we should say element. But um, I really feel like this could be your energy um, because of the fixed nature of this. It's just that in the physical world, you've just been very much um, fixated on the status quo is what I'm hearing or how things look, how you appear to people in some ways for some of you. Now, it doesn't have to be you, Scorpio. It could be someone else. It could potentially be a Virgo that you're dealing with, or it could potentially be an Aries that you're dealing with here with the Hermit and the um, the Emperor. Uh, now, with the Emperor and the King of Pentacles here, this is feeling like a very controlling or stubborn energy for some of you, which really could have been the downfall here for you. Um, just wanting to have control over everything even though deep, in reality, all you really have control over is your own life and your own actions. You can't control anybody else. But I feel like you may have wanted to. You may have been, um, you also, but that also could be, you know, a product of your upbringing. You may have had a really controlling father or masculine figure in your life, whether that is, that's embodied by a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, but that taught you, that was how, you, well, that's how you, what you learned from and now you're looking back on that later in life and you're saying, well, shit, I really missed out on some things because I was trying to emulate that and it wasn't too good. It didn't go too well. Um, 
Now, on the flip side, I am seeing that with due to this self-discovery that you've gone through and now you're taking your power back over your life you're taking control over your life and i see some of you are even reshaping your life with this king of pentacles energy okay actually you would be doing that between the emperor and the king of pentacles energy all right so the first row here for you is going to be the energies uh, your you know the energy is moving into february okay um what you're experiencing moving into February. The second row is going to be looking deeper into February. The energy is in deeper into February, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. We have the Page of Wands. Uh, this is falling right in line with this. This, to me, often talks about self-discovery, okay? But this is self-discovery on a truer level. Um, on the divine masculine level is what I just heard. So some of you may be re-identifying with your own inner divine masculine. Some of you, um, some of, for some of you, your divine masculine is kind of like going through this re-identification process and really trying to understand who they, are, who they are on a more truthful and authentic level. That's what I often get with the Page of Wands. And that could lead to some sort of creativity um, some sort of desire to move in a new creative direction. It could also lead to some sort of, uh, good God, I'm sorry. I was just looking at my, my, <laughs> my smudge stick here. Um, it could lead to some sort of sexual energy maybe. I mean, it just doesn't stop you guys. It just keeps burning. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop. I'm going to try to stop getting distracted here. Okay. Page of wands. <laughs> is coupled with the seven of cups now there could be a lot of illusion a lot of confusion around you because of this um you're really having to re-identify a lot of different things you're really having to take a, a second look maybe even a third or fourth look at some things that you may have identified with in the past that could have been emotionally fulfilling for you in the past and now they just don't do that for you any longer they just don't do it for you any longer and actually for some of you this could have been the catalyst to doing this going within and doing this this soul searching because you're like all of this stuff used to fulfill me used to please me i used to love doing these things and now all of a sudden they just don't do it for me anymore why well re-identification boop taking control and taking power back in your life to re to, to reshape your life okay with the emperor and the king of pentacles that's underneath the deck second set of surrounding energies moving into february you have wow the seven of swords now okay deception lies cheating um some of you could be dealing with the fact that you could have been deceiving yourself for a very long time others of you are probably acting in some deceitful ways you could be coming to terms with the fact that you have been acting in deceitful ways and why you may have been acting these in, in, in these deceitful ways but at the same time i'm also seeing that some of you are keeping a lid on things you're not really trying to express anything you're not really trying to like let anybody in on the challenges that you're facing or the changes that you're ex experiencing or going through okay and that's really not there's nothing wrong with that um, it's like it's this is a very private process for you so you're not even letting your closest friends in on it okay seven of swords are cu is coupled with the star beautiful so yeah there is a healing there's like secret healing going on here For some of you, uh, this is for a very select few of you, so if it res take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but for some of you, the universe is saying that all of your wishes are coming true or are being worked, are, are, are falling into alignment behind the scenes, and you are just not aware of it. So keep the faith, okay? Your challenge moving into, uh, also you could be dealing with an Aquarian. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, actually, we are... As of, as, of, as of the moment that I'm recording this, we are officially in Aquarius season um, in Western astrology. So, hey, that's cool. Hey, Aquarius. <laughs> okay. Um, your challenge, moving into February, you have the Three of Cups, your social setting. And as you are re-identifying with the situation, with, with you re like re-identifying yourself, you're realizing that you don't necessarily vibe or resonate with this social circle anymore. OK, and um, you also could be recognizing that this social circle has been um, a main source of keeping you in this lower vibration that you're working your way out of. 
okay? I definitely do see that you are raising in vibration here, which is allowing you to see more and more of your own truths. And so the people around you are going to need to be reanalyzed. But there's the social circle around you or someone that you're connecting with is the challenge here. Having to face them is what I just heard. Uh, the Three of Cups is coupled with, I told you, the devil. This social circle, the social setting, and this really even could be family. Like it doesn't just have to be friends or close friends or whatnot. This could be family, but they're keeping you down. And you are having to have, you're going to have to face that at some point. Now this could be Capricorn energy too. You could be dealing with a Capricorn and, um, as of this recording, we are actually still in Capricorn season in Eastern astrology. We have moved, we've tra transitioned into Capricorn, uh, to Aquarius in Western, but in Eastern, we're still in Capricorn. Anyway, um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. That is an issue. Uh, Capricorn could be in your chart somewhere. Maybe check out where Capricorn is in your chart to maybe get a deeper understanding of how these devil energies might be affecting you. For some of you, it really is family. Some sort of family setting or a social circle um, that is like an offshoot of your family. Maybe a social circle that you were in, uh, in, in, uh, introduced to through certain family members. Okay. Your potential outcome here, moving into February or possibly the closing message for you, you have Six of Swords. Excellent. Moving forward, for some of you, this doesn't necessarily involve communication. For some of you, you're just making the conscious decision. You're making your mind up to move away because regardless of what the circumstance that you're moving away is, where you would be moving to in relation to, oh shit, that's just gonna, oh my God, my, my smudge is about to go haywire because my heat just came on. Um, but... For some, it's, it's a matter of um, wherever you would be going next is going to be a lot better for you because it's just going to be calmer waters. Or, or, oh, shit. I'm destroying everything right now, Scorpio. <laughs> but it's just, it's going to be better for you because the there are going to be calmer waters. There won't be so much turmoil. I have to get this out of this. Out of, I have to move this. All right, Scorpio. Good God. I would caution you guys against buying these massive smudge sticks because I've started to find that sometimes once you get them started, they just don't stop. <laughs> okay. Moving forward, uh, moving in, oh, wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Six of Swords is coupled with Five of Cups. Now, there is a sense of loss here, um, and it's twofold. One for the community or the friends or family members that you might be, in a sense, losing because you don't resonate with them anymore and so you're moving away from them. But also, as you're making this mental trip, I'm seeing that some of you, especially, like you're, you're, it's, it's like you're mourning this Four of Cups energy, mourning. Um, you are reminiscing or thinking back or, or just dealing with the fact that all the things you may have missed out on because of a lack of authenticity in your life, okay? And yeah, that sucks, it's unfortunate, but ultimately, you're coming to the realization now, so you're, you have the ability to change it, so that's good, um, and ultimately, it was a lesson for you. And it looks like you're learning that lesson, so, hey, it's all good. And you see, you have these three cups here, the Three of Cups is a, is a thing for you guys in this reading. It's this, it really is because you have the Three of Cups here in the Four of Cups, and that person is focused on those Three Cups instead of the Ace of Cups that's being handed to them. You have the Three of Cups in your challenge area, in your, in your challenge um, moving into February, and now you have these Three Cups that have spilled over. So it looks like those Cups have finally been tossed to the side, I guess you could say. And I don't, I, I guess there's a better way of saying that they've been let go of. There you go. But there is still a little bit of mourning that needs to happen in relation to that. Okay, I get it. 
But ultimately, it's for your best. It's for your highest good. So it's a good thing. All right? Moving deeper into February here, first set of surrounding energies for you. You have the Ace of Swords. Now, this could be, this very well could be communication, okay? This could be um, speaking the truth. This also could be some sort of epiphany or an aha moment. Ace of Swords is coupled with, yeah, the Empress. All right. So and now look, you have, you've got the counterparts here. The, you have the Divine Masculine in the Emperor. You have the Divine Feminine in the Empress. So I am seeing that you do have a greater sense of balance here in your life. And it is that great, that sense of balance that's allowing you or giving you the gumption, the balls, the cojones to speak some sort of truth to someone or a group of people. <clears throat> you could also be speaking some sort of truth to your divine feminine, if that resonates. That's not so bad. Second set of surrounding energies moving deeper into February. You have, oh, well, also, well, no, I already, I said it, but I guess I'll say it this way because it just came to mind. I guess it'll help. Um, you have, you have the abundance of the universe behind you. You have the abundance of the divine mother behind you, which again is giving you more strength, more faith, more confidence to speak a greater or deeper truth about yourself. For some of you, you could be speaking some sort of truth to your mother, like your actual mother, not like just the divine mother. You, sh you guys, you guys, you guys. See, look, I just want to show you because this is just going out of control. Do you see how much this is smoking now? Good God. My roommates are going to think I'm trying to set that apartment on fire. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Moving forward. Let me get through this reading so I can figure out a way to put this smudge out. <clears throat> Second set of surrounding energies moving deeper into, into February for you, Scorpio. You have strength. All right. So you could be dealing with Leo, but the, a, a Leo energy, you could have Leo in your chart. But look at that, Scorpio. You're ha I was just saying, you're finding the strength to speak your truth. And here it is, right there. Okay? The strength card is coupled with the two of wands. So you're also having the strength to make some sort of decision to move in a new direction. And with wands here being uh, representing it with it being represented by the two of wands, this is something that's more spiritually truthful, more spiritually authentic, more individually authentic, um, something that is really Something that really speaks to your soul, something that's very inspiring for you, something that you're very inspired by or, or inspired towards taking action towards, um, something that you're very passionate about, which, which that passion could lend to that greater authenticity that often the wands suit represents, at least in my, my, my opinion, okay? Your challenge, moving deeper into February, you have the world. It is going to be quite a challenge to bring this situation to a close for yourself, okay? Because this is a long-standing situation. This is very deeply rooted. And for some of you, I'm feeling like this is, this is like, th this is something that you're handling on an ancestral level, like something that might have been plaguing your family lineage for, I heard decades, but then I also heard thousands of years. And to be quite honest, if that is resonating with you, then you most likely you chose to come into this life, to incarnate in this life, and to experience these things so that you could help heal this family lineage, okay? Like, for some of you, I'm picking up that this is, this is like a major part of your life mission, okay? The world is coupled with four swords. Now, um, interesting. Meditation is key here. Prayer is key here. Uh, keeping a level mind is also key. Is going to be very, very helpful for you in dealing with this situation and bringing this situation to a close. It's not, I'm not saying that this is going to necessarily be all done and over with in February. It's entirely possible but I don't think it's all that likely. 
Um, and I would advise that you let go of as much expectation around when and how this is closed out as possible and just go through the, go take the steps that you're guided to take and allow the universe to work out the big details, but you just follow through. But in order to do that, meditation is going to be key, making sure that you're grounded and your, um, your mind is clear of clutter, especially since the devil here right above you or, or right above the world and the four of swords in your challenge moving into February would be that energy that wants to distract you, wants to put you off course. And that's what it has been. Okay. Don't allow the devil to affect you any longer. And the devil, the devil is, um, uh, spirit is wanting me to say specifically for some of you that the devil is the energies that would want to create fear, instill fear, doubt, shame, guilt within you, would want to pull you off of your path, would want to s twist your mind um, and, and twist the truth that you've actually been working so hard to find on your own, okay? So keep that in mind as you move forward. Uh, the potential outcome or the closing message here for you, Scorpio, moving deeper into February. Look at that. The Eight of Cups. Walking away. That's beautiful, Scorpio. And look, so you, the beginning of your month, moving into February, you are in a mental state where you are, you, you're making the conscious decision to move in a new direction with calmer waters ahead towards going deeper into February. Now, energies are fluid, so this could this could flow right into March too. It could take even longer than that. This could flow f a few months from now, but the closing message here and or the potential outcome, okay, depends on your situation, you're actually taking those physical steps and walking away. And you see how you have those eight cups that are standing there, right? Wow, this is so beautiful. You have those eight cups that are there, neatly stacked, but it's not the 10. And you, this person on this card is walking away, potentially going out to find those other two cups to complete that 10. And the 10 of cups caught my eye while I was doing the shuffle, if you guys remember I said that. And then looky here, y'all, in the five of cups, in your potential outcome, or at least the closing message moving into February, has those two standing right there behind you. My, my, my. You can't make this stuff up, guys. Eight of Cups is coupled with the moon. Fear. Okay, so for some of you, you know you need to walk away now, but you're afraid to do so. Um, you're also, could you're, you, you, you might be afraid, but you're probably, you might be afraid because you would be walking into, into the unknown, walking into unknown territory, walking into the darkness. Um, but for others of you, you're needing to trust your intuition here because your intuition is guiding you to make this move, okay? Be, between the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, be the master of your domain. Take control over your life. Take your power back. I want to see, give me a second here. I want to look deeper into this Eight of Cups and the moon and see if there's something I'm missing. Spirit's saying that there isn't. There's a lot of fear involved with this. And that's totally understandable. Standing up to friends, standing up to family can be very, very hard. Especially when you've lived your life for so long as in a certain manner. And now you're making a big drastic change. Um, and especially if that manner was kind of like what was expected of you, um, but it, what that, but it's just because it's expected of you doesn't mean it's authentic to you. And so now that you're making this major shift, there are people that are not going to like it. I mean, yeah, but that's their problem, Scorpio, not yours. All right. Let's get you some Oracle guidance here for the month of February. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, month of February here. Alrighty, Scorpio. 
Best message, please, Spirit. For Scorpio, for the month of February. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February 2019. Okay, let's try this again. Best message, please, Spirit. February. There it is. There it is. Sanctuary. Underneath the deck, you have strength. Look at that. Strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. And then your message, your official message here, or your closing message, I should say. Sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. So for some of you, you could be going into a hermit mode in February. This, for some of you, this may not be something that, you, um, that you've been in. This, February could be the start of this. For others of you, you've already been in it. You've already, already been dealing with it, but yeah. So there you have it, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much love to you guys. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.